stopped at this funky little place we found for lunch it's called the poacher's pocket yeah. um haven't come across it before but it is absolutely awesome and they do lo just loads of fabulous food excuse me had a heavy cider already early in the day might be a couple of uh, stumbles in the speech here but bear with me so this is brian who Hello. is owner or manager 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 of this wonderful place um as you can see cozy little place and through there is a restaurant next door which does just great food. Um, I've just tried their meat platter, which had, I believe, quail. Quail. And okay. some chicken liver parfait. Chicken liver parfait. With yeah. sourdough bread that was fab. Yeah, and local rabbit. Local rabbit. Yeah. Was that a little fritter thing? Yeah, little fritter. Fabulous fritters, guys, with a great little chutney, real wood boards, all of that awesome rustic stuff that we love, okay? So they, these people are really cool. Come here, try it out. Um, but what we're going to have a quick chat to Brian about is just some of the local beers, because they're also promoting local beers and local ciders from mainly County Down, or, Brian? All County Down. So what have we got here today? Um, we're blessed in County Down that we have a few producers now mm -hmm. that are doing great products. Uh, first one we have, which is just two miles up the road from us, is yep. Armageddon. They do beer, don't they? they do beer. Heard about these guys, yeah, yeah have stuff. So they, they stick to their stick to their eels, they're delivering great products. Uh, first one I'll show you, this is a gold paleo. Yeah. No, it's slightly lighter alcohol and we sell it as more of a cross between if you were a lager drinker and you were trying to venture into eels this would be the first one so perhaps i should have started on this yeah. instead of the cider <laughs> yeah. today so okay it's great reasonably light nice and crisp sure uh, the another product they would do which would be our one of our best sellers here is the ipa so okay another lighter alcohol. but yeah but very hoppy fab nice nice and hoppy so girl was born in kent love hops <laughs> Okay, cool. So that's the two, they're just a couple of miles up from... These the are the guys coast. that get their pigs drunk. Yeah, they And I believe the, you have the pork here on the we menu. We do, we sell, so they, uh, they, they let their pigs uh, forage amongst the hops, and uh, let them drink their beer. Lucky pigs. And uh, then we are fortunate enough to eat the pigs a few months <laughs> after that when they're, uh, when they're well rested. Okay, um, excellent. We have another couple of beer this one producers. This well? yep, White Yeah, Whitewater, Whitewater Brewery. Oh. Um, so they're based in County Down as well. They have very long established. They've been around maybe for about 
20, 25 years, which is very long wow. in county line terms. Um, now they've released this honey one as ginger. honey and ginger. So it's uh, Might have to try that very, pop, very popular with our lady customers, so it is. Um, and they've just introduced that this summer, so they have. Okay. Our last one, which is another producer, County Down as well, it's called Clockmore. Uh, they've kind of do a wide range on the market, so we'll have the stout here, but they also do an IPA sure. and a lager as well. Uh, they're based in the Moor and Uri area. Okay. Uh, just down the road a little bit? Just down the road, but again, all in County Down. Um, and they're. Uh, I'm getting that people in County Down like drinking beer. They like drinking beer. Not bad people. And they're willing to, uh, they're willing to try new products, which is all great Excellent. for these. All great for these. Uh, and it's all, all good local stuff, isn't yep. it? Uh, moving on, just so what uh, you're actually drinking today, Sarah. Um, so you have the. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> uh, Kilmegan. Um, so they're just outside Mourns, they're in a place called Dundrum. Yeah. Um, which would be about 20 miles away from us. They're apples from their very own orchard. Um, and they have three products. They have the dry. Uh, Elderflower yeah, as well, I tried Yeah, that was um, good. It's made more for uh, easy drinking, summer drinking. And then I have a medium dry, which is called a farmhouse cider. And it, and it is good, guys. It's and, uh, um, fast stuff. And from what I read, they keep it, they're all about the purest cider drinker. It's yeah. really simple stuff. Yeah, there's no, no nasties. Just keeping it all simple. Uh, and what's this we have here? Um, a gin? This is our first uh, gin in County Down. Okay. Um, Cross Gower, which would be about five or six miles from us, has a large country estate called Redeemon. Um, and this is made in a distillery in the estate. Okay. Uh, and the own botanicals that are grown in the estate to the gin. So it has the ginger berries, uh, rosemary, flower wow. herbs, and spices. And it's literally uh, grown, made, juiced, bottled, packaged, all on site. So, absolutely loads of stuff going on here in County Down with regards to beers, ciders. Gin, which I must admit, I never thought I would see necessarily gin being made here in Northern Ireland, but there you go, there it is. Um, and lots of fab food here at the Poacher's Pocket to go with it as well. And from what I gather, you've got a little shop next door. I have a little pantry which offers you a chance to buy all these products so you can take them home with you. Um, or if you're looking here. A little delicatessen foodie bit. A little delicatessen, we, uh, we couldn't stock enough short cross over Christmas, but people want to send a bottle to their friends and relatives overseas for Christmas presents. Popular place. Well look Brian, thanks so much for your time today, really appreciate it because we kind of pounced this on him and a little bit on me too, but hey, um, I think I need to go next door and buy some of this stuff. Oh, you're not meant to film that bit. <laughs>